We are showing the complete setup of Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi with a webcam for the original Pusa i3 Mark III. We purchased a Raspberry Pi 3B with a power supply, a microSD card and a USB webcam with a tripod. We take the microSD card and put it into a USB card reader. Octoprint provides a snappy web interface for 3D printers. We download Octopi an SD card image for the Raspberry Pi that already includes Octoprint. We also download Etcher that allows us to burn images to SD cards. We then install Etcher, which comes as an app image. We run Etcher to burn the Octopi image to our SD card. We select the Octopi image, insert the SD card, and click on Finish. We enter the name and password of our wireless network in the Octopi Network text file in the boot partition. Now we put the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi and connect everything. We put the webcam on the tripod. Put the camera into position and connect the USB cable with the Raspberry Pi. We also connect the 3D printer with a USB cable to the Raspberry Pi. Now we turn on the Raspberry Pi by connecting it to the power supply. We had already turned on the 3D printer and just need to make sure that the RPI port under settings is turned off. To configure the Raspberry Pi, we SSH into Octopi Local. We change the password. We run the Raspberry Pi configuration. And expand the file system. We can now access Octopi using a web browser. The first time it starts with Setup Wizard. We provide a username and password. Keep access control enabled. We set up a printer profile for our original Prusa i3 Mark III.
Now we make sure to update the software. And we are back in the setup wizard. Enable connectivity check. Enable plugin blacklist processing. Now we complete the printer profile for our original Prusa i3 Mark III. Prusa Research actively supports Octoprint. We are here using the settings provided by Prusa Research in their customized image of Octopi for the original Prusa i3 Mark III. The Octopi is now operational and we are going to show it in action. We download a case for the Raspberry Pi from Thingiverse. We take the STL files and generate the G-code file in Prusa control. In Octopi, we upload the G-code file. Connect to the 3D printer. And activate the time-lapse mode. Now we select the G-code file and start the print. At any time we can observe the current printing process in the control window. Here we are actually playing the time-lapse video created by Octopi. We can download the time-lapse video to our computer. Make sure to shut down the system properly before unplugging the power supply. Now we take the case and use it for our Raspberry Pi.